is the first and probably last time you will ever see me with glasses. Well, these are my car glasses that I leave in my car. I'm here for my pre-op appointment at the LASIK surgery office and I'm excited but a little bit nervous obviously um yeah this is the last time they're about to measure my eyes and for the past week I haven't been able to wear contacts I've only been able to wear glasses like when I'm driving or on the computer or you know whatever um I'm doing that I need glasses so I think I'm pretty much done with contacts the reason why you couldn't wear them before getting your pre-op is because they're about to get the last measurements of my eyes before surgery so i think i can't wear them at all again now i'm not sure i'm gonna find that out in just a couple minutes when i walk in here i thought i wanted to wait until i ran out of my contacts but i was just like you know what if i keep waiting i'm not gonna go through with the surgery so yeah this is why we're here let's just get it over with beginning of the new year and yeah so i'm gonna take you guys along with me this will be the start of the surgery with some new eyes and, and no more contacts Ooh, that felt weird because now i can't see y'all all right <laughs> i'll see you guys in a minute Wait, what am i doing you're just looking over your head and put the drop in oh, okay blink blink i can't yes you can right. oh. Cause okay. this thing will go away faster if you blink. Okay. Starting to go away now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I do. <laughs> All right, put that right. Put your chin in. Mm -hmm. And lean up your forehead. What I'm doing is measuring the pressure in the eye now. morning it's officially one week before lasik eye surgery so i have to start my eye meds it's just artificial tears that you have to start a week before surgery so this is the little schedule that they gave me i also have to start taking the pro omega they say that this helps with forming artificial tears tears as well and you're going to take this two times a day so the artificial tears you take four times a day breakfast lunch dinner and before bed one drop in each eye so this is what it looks like i've never seen this before so we're about to find out right now lasik they say can cause dry eye but i have like no symptoms of dry eye ever i've never had that these are single use containers so i'm just going to take one break it apart and then this is just going to go in both eyes. You are going to want to continue to use these throughout um, after surgery as well. And I don't have contacts on right now. And I have a couple more days that I can wear contacts. I have to stop wearing them February 1st, which is three days before surgery. All right, so the next time I see you guys, it will be the day before surgery, and I'll show you everything that I have to do before I get surgery the next morning. All right, you guys, it's the night before surgery, and I'm about to take my last drops before I go to bed. And the first one is the Moxie drops, and this is the blue top. This is a new one that I'm only supposed to start taking the night before surgery, which is tonight. And then I was also taking these today. So it's one drop and one drop. You wait five minutes in between. You have to shake these up well. And I was also taking these breakfast, lunch, dinner, and before bed. So when I wake up tomorrow, I can eat normally. The only thing that I'm not supposed to have is caffeine. I'm thinking it makes you anxious. I'm not sure why we can't have caffeine, but she said no caffeine before surgery. I'm a little bit nervous, um, but I'm excited too. So I'll let you guys know how tomorrow goes. Also, I'm not supposed to take any of these drops tomorrow. So tonight is my last night, and then when I wake up, I don't do anything so i'll see you guys tomorrow we'll be at envision eye center so i just got to the laser center and like i said i'm at envision eye center i just had to fill out two papers and i'm in the waiting room and we're about to get ready to get started 
Xanax, this is a half a Xanax, this is your other half. Okay. This one will go in your little black bag, if I can okay. borrow your bag. Mm -hmm. I'm going to stick it right in here, so when she goes home, we want her to take the other half. Taking the Xanny. This one's gonna sting? Yes. Okay. When does it start stinging? It doesn't sting? No. <laughs> yeah, but it usually starts stinging by now. <laughs> oh. and the next one is the allergy drop. Okay. So the next time I see you, I'll be in the laser room. So I'm about to walk back to Dr. Casey now and start my procedure. It's going to be slightly blurry, you know, in the first few minutes, but if you go home and take a nap mm -hmm. and wake up in a couple hours, you'll see great. We'll check on you, and then if okay. you have any other trouble, give us... So I just walked in from LASIK. It was a breeze. I'm going to tell you more about it when I wake up because I'm supposed to just eat, and I'm about to eat one of my meal prep salads, and then take the other half of the Xanax and then go to sleep for at least. All right, y'all, it's like nine o'clock. I've been asleep since about 4.30 and my eyes hurt. Like it's less pain now, but I was feeling a lot of pain when I went to sleep. Like I kept waking up out of my sleep and I would feel like, um, like it felt like onions, like cutting onions, but like a burning sensation, like my eyes can't open. But now, um, when I woke up now, 
I can kind of peek, but my eyes still don't want to open. And it's a little less pain. I had to put some of those medicated drops in my eyes. And I'm still really drowsy and sleepy because I did take the other half of that Xanax. But, I mean, it's bearable, but I do feel like pain. I don't want to scare you, but I do feel like that burning sensation. So, I'm not going to fully open my eyes until tomorrow morning because I don't want anything to go wrong. Oh, <laughs> my eyes are closed, you guys, so I can't really. And then I can't have too much light on because it starts to hurt. So, let me peek, try to peek. Oh, okay. Sorry for this clip, but I'll see you guys in the morning. I just want to let you know how I was feeling right after having the procedure done. The procedure went really well, and I'll talk to you guys more about that in the morning. All right. Good night. So it's the next morning and I can see, I just got back from the gym right now. Um, it's almost noon, but I've been up since 7 a.m. and my eyes felt fine. Like the whole morning, I just been like testing my eyes like, oh, I used to not be able to read this. Let me see if I can see it. So, so far it's like, it's really good. Like I can see the things that I couldn't see before and my eyes are still healing so I know it's just gonna get better with time I can still feel that you know something is different about my eyes like I had a whole procedure done but it doesn't hurt it's not painful but it's just like I don't know like just not my fully normal eye yet you can just kind of feel like maybe if you look a different way or squeeze your eyes too tight they're a little bit sore but it's not painful at all and last night um when i watched back how i was saying that my eyes were in pain you got to remember i was a little bit loopy and i kept saying that it felt like onions being cut but i think the perfect um way to describe it if you ever cut jalapenos and accidentally touch your eyes and you know how it just keeps burning and that burning will not go away. That's exactly how it felt. And my friend that was staying with me kept saying that um, I was waking up and just reminding him that my eyes are burning. Like I just kept, like when I tried to go back to sleep, I'll wake up and say like, did I tell you my eyes are like burning? They're like hurting, you know? Um, that was after about four hours that I was feeling that burning sensation. So the part in this video when I woke up and I was telling you guys what I was feeling that my eyes were hurting, I put drops in my eyes after that and then went back to sleep and I woke up again around, I don't know, maybe midnight and my eyes weren't burning at all. It's just that right after feeling, if you open your eyes, right after the procedure, it's like nothing. Like. I can see uh, my eyes are sensitive to light but I didn't feel anything and I thought that's how it was gonna be but the doctor did say that the medicine that was in my eyes will wear off and that's why they want you to sleep so you kind of sleep through any pain but I woke up after about four hours and I could feel the burning so I just put some more drops of the blue top eye drops and it pretty much helped because when I woke back up later I felt fine I my eyes still couldn't really open it was like you know when you're, uh, there's something in your eye and you can't really open them, that's exactly how it was. So I couldn't really fully open my eyes until this morning and when I did open them, it was just like nothing ever happened. But some people say they don't feel that at all because I've watched a video where someone said she didn't feel any sort of pain or burning or anything. But you know, I'm gonna keep it real, I'm pretty good with pain and everything, but um, I did feel that burning and it is bearable. It's just annoying. So that's just a heads up and that's pretty much the worst thing that happened. The actual procedure was so fast and so easy. That was another thing that I was nervous about because I watched other videos and people were like freaking out. They were like saying, oh my gosh, it goes black. You can't see, they're cutting your eye. Like, no, you don't see anything. I thought I was gonna see like a knife or something like going towards my eye or something, but the procedure was so easy. You don't see anything. As long as you keep looking straight up, you don't see any of 
what's being used. If you're thinking about getting it and you're like scared of it, there's nothing to be afraid of. It was really easy. And the only thing I would just warn you about is if you wake up close to after you got the procedure done, you're gonna feel some burning and that goes away. And pretty much right now, like I said, my vision is pretty good. I'm about to head to my post-op appointment right now and really see how my eyes are. So I'm gonna take you guys with me and we'll see what happens. F-P-Z-L-O. C-L-P-E-Z. What's that last one? Z. All right, can you get any of that? P-Z. So my post-op was really, really quick. They just told me that now I see 2015, which is better than 2020, and that my eyes are going to keep healing over the next few days because, like I said, I can still feel a little, you know, like in this one, I feel like a little, like I have a scratch in my eye, kind of a little bit, but it doesn't hurt. It's just something that I can feel right now and they said that will go away over time and to just keep taking my drops that I was showing you guys that I continue for about four weeks I believe. I have another appointment in a week as well just to check on everything but so far so good and that's it that was my LASIK experience and it was really good so if you found this video helpful make sure you give it a thumbs up if you want to know anything else that I left out or you would like me to ask my doctor because I'm going to be seeing him pretty frequently for the first month don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one